Thanks to everyone that submitted their videos of the Harlem Shake. We had a grand total of 47 videos. Yeah, 47. 47. So this was a pretty hard decision to make, but we have finally come to the conclusion. And the winner is... This is Paige, AP US History Class. Yay! Con los terroristas! They do the Harlem shit. and commentary. First up on today's show, Kevin Ware's leg break. The NCAA Midwest Regional Finals pitted Duke against Louisville on March 31st, with Louisville advancing to the Final Four. However, it's not their victory that's generating so much buzz, it's the gruesome injury sustained by their guard, Kevin Ware. The injury was so gruesome that several spectators vomited at the site, and CBS opted not to show a replay of the injury leaving millions to flock to the internet to view it uncut. Ware jumped to block a three-pointer, breaking his tibia and shooting part of it through his shin upon impact. Several of his teammates were moved to tears, and medical personnel immediately attended to Ware. While the scene was shown live on television, CBS chose to forgo a replay of the incident, deeming it too gruesome. The bottom line, does CBS's decision to censor Ware's injury reflect on them as a network? Do we as viewers have a right to see the unedited footage? Email us your thoughts. The French electronic music duo Daft Punk is set to release a new album, Random Access Memories, on May 21st, 2013. The duo is best known for their 2000 smash hit, One More Time, and the album it appears on, Discovery. Let's take a listen. One more time, we're gonna celebrate. Oh yeah, all right. Don't stop the day. Daft Punk is a well-known act in mainstream culture, and their robot alter egos have appeared in everything from feature films to a Gap commercial. Now, eight years after the release of their last proper studio album, Human After All, Daft Punk are finally ready to release new material with random access memories. True to their nature, Daft Punk is being very secretive regarding the, al the album, providing little more than its release date and a running time of 74 minutes. The album is already receiving raving reviews on iTunes, despite its not having been released. Let's take a listen to a clip of the new material. Bottom line, you should pre-order 
Daft Punk's new album. It's sure to be a hit. If you have suggestions, comments, or criticism for the bottom line, email us at centralfocusshow at gmail.com with the subject line, The Bottom Line. Once again, I'm Christian Hackney, and that was The Bottom Line. Mexican